Eyeball's audio quality, everything, all those quality settings that I had are all gone. So everything's going to probably sound different, look different, etc. I'm also missing a lot of files, but you know, I have to do this one thing. The AI in Tarkov, a little bit more in depth into that. And how certain settings just don't affect it. We're going to start with AI off first, okay? 1080p. Let's just mute that. So 1080p. In this clip right here, I stand still. Obviously, AI is off. 89 to 90 ish, give or take. You know, AI is off. I'm just standing here. Obviously, my VRAM is in the red. My VRAM is pretty much capped. GPU is 93. It's pretty much that. All right. So we'll, we'll close that. That's 1080p. Okay. Now we're going to go to 900p. Go to 900p. Same thing. I'm at 112 now. Which again, ish, 110, 112, 19, you know, give or take. Which my FPS has gone up because my VRAM isn't capped anymore. Okay. So now we're going to go from 900p to 720p. AI off. Again, 720p. Run to the same spot. Um, yep, same spot. Here it is, look. 113, VRAM, 2634, 83. Still, 63% CPU. 112 FPS, okay, diminishing return, nothing really happens. Now we're going to do 1024 by 768, the lowest resolution Tarkov offers. Okay, so I enable that resolution. What do you know? 112, 113, no gains in FPS. VRAM usage, exactly the same. Usages, exactly the same. Everything's exactly the same, despite it being the lowest possible resolution in Tarkov. Okay, so from 900p to 768, there was no change in performance with AI off. Absolutely zero change from these three resolutions, 900p, 720p, and 768. There was no change in performance. Nothing. Okay. Now, uh, 1080p, two times upscale, which would be 1440. Keep in mind, let's get them both going here. Let's see if I can... Okay, let's get them both going. Get a little... Ah... Uh... I don't have it set up, man. Okay, fuck it. We'll just do the one. You remember the performance. Which is 110, 1080p. Okay. This is 2K upscaled. Okay, 1080p to 2X upscale using the in-game's upscaler. 49 FPS. GPU's capped. Strangely enough, VRAM's not capped. Which is weird considering it's upscaled, right? Again, 31% CPU usage because the GPU is doing everything because it's upscaled to 1440p, which means my hard, I'm hardware limited. I'm GPU uh, locked, right? Because I'm 1440p, stable frames, AI is off. Not, you know, not much happening here. This is where it gets interesting, okay? 2K upscaled, 1080p, AI off. But, the diff but this time, I'm going to turn my 3.7 gigahertz to 2 gigahertz. Okay, right here. I'm now at 2 gigahertz. Now, can keep in mind, right here, 49 FPS, 3.7. Okay, 2 gigahertz, 4.7. Interesting. So, I went from 49 FPS to 47 FPS at 2 gigahertz of CPU. 2. Not 3.7. Not 3.9 boost. 2. Okay, with the AI, AI disabled, I'm at 2 gigahertz, 47 FPS. Smooth. No skips, no stutters, no frames. Smooth. Okay. VRAM limited. Okay. Now, let's move on to 1 gigahertz. Okay. One. This is the slowest I can push my CPU. You'll notice. 1 gigahertz right here. CPU clock. 998. 1 gigahertz. Okay. 31 FPS. 2K upscaled. Okay. I see it. My GPU is at 66%. I'm still at 2K upscaled, okay? But because I'm at 1 gigahertz, I can't push those frames. It's just not possible. But I've only gone from 47 FPS to 34 FPS at 1 gigahertz because the AI is disabled. Okay, now let me show you something extremely interesting with that. Now we're going to move on to the AI enabled, and I'll show you why. Now remember, 110 FPS, okay? 1080p. AI on, okay? Yes, it's raining, Different. not much I can do about that. Okay? 1080p. 
AI enabled this time. The AI is on. I'm at 67 FPS. VRAM limited again. My my VRAM's capped. That's the reason why my FPS is the way it is because my VRAM's capped. Can't do anything about it. GPU 71%, not being maxed out even though it's 1080p. CPU 50%. It's for 3.7 gigahertz, AI is on, okay, 67 FPS. So I went from 110 FPS to 67 on 1080p, okay, just with the, just with AI enabled, 900p, okay, let's change it to 900p, okay, now we're on 900p, no change, still 63 FPS, not really no change, CPU 48, nothing changed, GPU 50%, nothing changed, VRAM dropped considerably, which is good. Okay, now we're going to go to 720p, again, we've actually lost FPS by dropping the resolution, we've lost FPS in a live raid, we've lost FPS dropping resolution, in an offline raid we gain FPS dropping resolution, you see the issue there, do you see the problem, you see the problem there with having AI on AI off while doing benchmarking? That's why offline benchmarks are fake, right? The, the 150, 200, 250 FPS you're seeing, fake. Okay, it's, it's, it's not real, okay? My third Gen i7 from like 2013 gets 111 FPS, which is fake. It's not real, okay? I don't actually get 113 FPS in a live raid. I'll get fucking 60, okay? But here we go. Here it is, 720p, 60 FPS. I lost FPS by lowering the resolution. Okay, now we're going to go to the lowest resolution with AI enabled, 768, same spot, okay, same spot, what do you know, I've lost even more FPS by lowering the resolution, I've lost frame rate by lowering it, again, okay, so lowering resolution, don't do it, it doesn't help you, having your CPU aim to do all the work in a live raid doesn't work, okay, when you're doing benchmarks, like what I've just witnessed with another guy, I'll show you in a minute, this is the stuff he was showing. He was showing at the lowest possible resolution of his 5800X3D, getting 250 FPS with no bots enabled. Keep in mind, if he enabled those bots, he would be getting maybe 140. And if he was going into a live raid in a real match, he's then going to deal with real PMCs plus bots plus bosses. Okay, and other random scenarios that have to be calculated by the CPU, which means even less performance, which means you're probably reaching 130 max start of raid and 90 mid raid because the scav army spawns in okay which isn't 150 or 200 average that's literally pixie dust it doesn't exist i'm sorry you can watch all the benchmarks you want it doesn't exist okay so 57 now this is where it gets real interesting the upscaled okay let's go to upscaled with ai enabled okay i had 40 47 fps 47 fps upscaled ai enabled 50 fps pretty much Okay, let's just leave that to fucking variation and just leave it 50, okay? AI enabled, while upscaled, I get the same FPS as I do offline, okay? That's because of CPU bounds, because of the AI, okay? Now, the interesting part, downclocking the CPU to 2 gigahertz, watch what happens. I got the performance as if I'm on 1 gigahertz, but I'm on 2 gigahertz. If you remember correctly, I was stable at 47 FPS, two times upscaled with offline with no AI, but with AI, I'm at 39 FPS, I lost frames, and all I've done is enabled AI, whereas there's no AI, I didn't lose any frames on upscale, because the CPU has to work 10 times harder to render, to actually calculate the AI movements, okay, now what happens when I go to 1 gigahertz, the game completely goes into meltdown, I was getting 30 FPS with 1 gigahertz before, now I'm getting 17 with uh, 2 times upscaled, again, the only thing I've done, He's enabled the AI. The AI is what hammers your CPU. That's why half of these benchmarks that have the AI disabled are false. All right, boys, this is just a bonus edited in version about, about a little rant of the X, uh, 5800X3D. Um, apparently I was wrong. What do you know? Uh, this guy right here proved me wrong. Unlike the three other people that just claimed that the processor can do 200 uh, this person actually did benchmarks to actually prove it now that is how you do it now okay you actually prove people this you don't just type it like no one believes the typing 
you got to show these benchmarks. I asked three people to show the benchmarks. This guy was the only legend that actually shown benchmarks. Respect to this guy. He proved me wrong. What can I say? He proved me wrong. I was wrong. Um, to an extent. Uh, his setup. Uh, he appreciates okay, he doesn't show it there, but he puts it in the comments. So it's a 30, 3070 Ti, 5800XVD, 64 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz. Um, he has use only physical calls enabled. He is at 75 FOV. Don't dox him in game, don't, don't, don't. Um, quality he uses AMD FSR 2.1 quality mode. He has his textures at high, he has shadows at low. LOD on 2, visibility on 400, TAA high, um, no MIP streaming, which is weird, uh, plays on boost, the traffic filtering on, the usual, and high quality color, this setting right here, like, fucking, absolutely tanks performance, uh, he plays on 2560 by 1440, 1440p monitor, um, he has no post effects, if I recall, Yep, no post effects. His graph's a little small. So we'll have to try and just read that. Um, but you'll notice he loads in uh, right about here. As online, as online. This is this is as close to performance as a live Raiders can get. This is the settings that I also prefer people to do benchmarks in. Because this is real performance. Um, so he does both online, which is good. But uh, when he spawns in... Um, what I mean by fake performance, you'll notice, okay, he's at 250 right now, right? That is the fake performance right there. It's the 200, 250. I, uh, that's because no scavs are spawned in. If I drag it a little further down the timeline, look at, now he's at 148, 150 average-ish. So let's just, let's call it a solid 140 average in between because I've seen it drop to 130 and go to 150. So let's say a 140 average. Which, don't get me wrong, okay, don't get me wrong, 140 average, that's insane, I said it was not possible, but here we are, there's the AI to prove right there that he is in fact on an AI driven server, again, dropping to 120, dropping to 90, 120, 127, 130, okay, so he drops to 90 and goes back to 130, 140, which is pretty good still, but it's absolutely nowhere near a 160 to 180 average. A 160 to 180 200 peak at the start and at the end of a raid or a scav raid maybe because there's not a lot of pmcs and there's not a lot of players and there's not a lot of scavs left in the in the server so it's easier on the pc and that is why a scav raid runs better than a pmc raid because a scav raids at the end of raids and the end of raids is less to entities and less entities means better performance um but as you see here again 64 gigabytes of, of RAM, 3200 megahertz. He's on a 5800X3D with only physical cores enabled, and he's on a 3070. And still, 140, 150 average. That's good. But, uh, and that he did prove me wrong, and the guy's a legend, and I'm sorry for calling him a liar. He was right. Okay, he was right. But to the other person who commented, completely different to this one, um, the guy who said that you can get 200 average between 180 and 200 average or something like that that's a lie okay you cannot get a 200 average or a 180 average or, or you know something like that 150 to what to 140 average is the highest you could possibly get which is you know nothing to complain that that's good performance okay so thanks to this guy for doing a benchmark and showing the real performance of a 5800 x3d and not a fake example of the 5800x3d which is giving people false uh benchmark results it's claiming 200 frames okay i'll show you a, a guy that faked it that shows you fake results 5800x3d talk let me show you a guy with fake results okay this one's a different one but let me see if i can find it this one no this one no oh it's not in here you might have actually deleted the videos it's not in here Is the outburst or outbreak or out? There it is, outbreaker. So this is a guy who faked his fucking benchmarks. 
250, 200, 200, 250, 230, 250, 230, 240, 200, 180. This, this is bad, okay? This is not the performance of a 5800X 3D. This one is the performance of a 5800X 3D, okay? Now, if you compare the two, okay, 150 frames, 250 frames, okay? AI disabled. AI, uh, I mean, AI disabled on this one, and AI enabled on this one. The stats kind of speak for itself here. I don't really have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, comparison, because obviously this is a different guy that did benchmarks. Uh, so I don't have those uh, completely accurate. But to lose that much of a chunk in FPS, and the only real difference is one has a 1080 Ti, one has a 3070, but then again, this guy's running at 720p. So his 1080 is doing nothing. Versus this guy's running at 1440p and his GPU is doing everything. Right? But I guarantee you right now, that AI impact is insane. Just absolutely unreal. But yeah, don't don't follow people that do benchmarks with the AI disabled. Because you just get false reports. Like this guy. He's put it up to 1080p now and he's on 220 FPS. That's fake. Okay, this one, left, this left one right here, this one, CPU test, Ryzen 5800X 3D, Escape from Tarkov, max FPS, okay, fake, do not watch these benchmarks, do not base your references on these benchmarks, okay, base it on these benchmarks on the right, that show real performance with scavs enabled, because you get 150 average, you do not get a 200 average. Hell, with Scav spawning in, you don't even get a 200 peak. You get like a 170 peak. If that. But, uh, yeah. So, I got proven wrong to an extent. Again, thank you to this guy right here. Who put the effort in to actually upload the benchmark for me. To prove me wrong. Respect to you, my guy. I appreciate it. And I hope you don't mind me using your benchmark as a reference to discuss the 5800X 3D. Um, if you do more benchmarks of this CPU, I'm definitely going to check them out. Because um, I am extremely curious on what settings actually change the CPU's performance. Uh, but yeah, that's, that is the X3, 5800X3D rant. I was wrong, he was right, 200 FPS is impossible, but 150 average is in fact possible. Who would have thought, Escape from Tarkov, you could average 140, 150. What a fucking miracle. Holy crap. Anyway, that is all. Have a great day. And uh yeah. That's 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 it. That's all I got. I'll catch you guys later.